tab, we are going to choose kind of an orangish color. And for the texture, we're going to use Fresnel. Perfect. And then we're going to adjust this so that the black is actually in the center. And also adjust your color here to like a lighter gray. We don't want the reflection to be so uh, obscene. Then in our specular width, we're going to set that to about 10 with a height of 92. So we're going to get some nice little specular bounce right there. And for the color, we're going to use kind of a light tan. And there we go. I think this will be nice. Go ahead and add the water droplets to the cloner. Now let's give this a quick preview. Rock on! This is awesome. Look how cool that looks. And I mean, I'm making this a little bit too easy. This is going by way too quickly. You guys should suffer a little bit for this. But I'm not about that. I'm kind of a... Uh, I'm a nice guy. So let's go ahead and uh, next thing we need to do is create the awesome labels that we're going to use. So let's brand this bad boy. So first thing we're going to do is create a new material. And inside this new material, we will call this top label or label top, whichever one you want to use. Uh, in the texture area under color, click these three dots. And this is where we're going to be able to load a file. So as it's thinking, we are going to go in beer bottle start in texture. We got beer label top. And then now that we got this label, we're just going to take this and drop it on our beer label top. Now I've already adjusted the settings. So this is cylindrical with a, a vertical height of this, repetition, blah, 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 blah. Just so that this renderready.com can fit. Now also what we want to do is turn on reflection and bump. Inside our reflection channel, we're going to want to set this to Fresnel. That way the edges are uh, reflecting, but the forward-facing logo is not blocked out. All right, so for our bump channel, we are going to choose noise, and we're going to set our noise to 10. And then let's also make it a layer as well. So when we go to layer, we're going to choose Naki at 10% with a low clip of you know around 25 and then we're gonna reduce our strength of our color to about 25 so it's gonna be looking something like that in our specular channel we are going to set our width to about 20 and our height to about 90 now the whole purpose behind adding the bump channel is a lot of beers use this kind of a foil to wrap around their, their beer bottles. And, and that's the kind of look I wanted to imitate. If you don't want to imitate that look, then get rid of the bump channel and it will look like paper. You may also want to take out the reflection as well. But I think just it's just a cooler look. Excellent. And we got our little reflectivity right here. We got our little bumps over there. I think this bottle is looking pretty cool. Let's go ahead and create our main label right here. So go to File, New Material, and we're going to rename this Label Bottom. Now inside this label, we're going to do basically the same thing that we did the first one. So we're going to need to turn on Reflection and Bump. And in our color, we are going to choose Beer label, um, beer label right there. Open. And also, we're going to want to turn on this thing called alpha. And alpha is a black and white uh, outline or, or image, uh, black or white mat of your image. And the white will be where everything is transparent, and the black is where everything will be opaque. So 
we added our color. In our reflection, we're going to set this to Fresnel as well. And in our bump channel, we're going to do the exact same thing as before. So layer it. And then we're going to create a noise. And in our noise, we're going to choose Naki with a 10% global scale at, I think it was like 25. And then we'll set this to about 25 as well. And then in our bump channel, we're going to click these dots and we're going to choose beer label alpha. And then you just go ahead and invert it. And here's our beer label right there. And then in our specular channel, we're going to set our width, you know, to 15 and our height of like 85. So we get a nice little specular channel. Go ahead and take this label bottom and attach it to this texture. And bam, there you go. It's all set. Now all we really need to do at this point is, you know, group this all together if you want. And then just turn on your lights and render it out and uh, you should have yourself a completed bottle. So water condensation can be done on a bottle and very well. When deciding which is better, sub-polygonal displacement or MoGraph to create condensation, I think MoGraph is definitely the winner here. The drops retain reflection on the tops and bottoms as well as their shadows. The drops also look a lot cleaner as well. Render times though went through the roof. For one shot I managed something around 15 minutes, but that's the price you pay when you use global illumination, ambient occlusion, and multiple lights. For this tutorial and its capability of delivering solid looking water condensation, I give this an A-, minus. really freaking close. Take a look at the rest of the tutorials and if you want to download the final version of this bottle, click the link at the bottom of the page. Have fun everyone and remember that this is Al from RenderReady.com and thank you again for your time.